We greet all the saints. We greet the body of Christ in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Especially we reach in the summer land. La Poribosi is seven of Panarum Sebenzi, one of the Seneno, Yalene Vedi. Sebonga Kudabosi, it is an honor and a privilege that you do deserve. Ogubanati, Ubekona, as a show, Uwaka, Uzi, Maga Crest, Uwaka, Iban, and Gamburu, and Gamendi to Jesus Christ, especially who is not a six the time of crisis. So, as you Allow me to read the book of Exodus, chapter 25, verse number 8. We'll read also the book of John, chapter 16, verse number 7. Is the most good angel. And let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. Let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. John 16, verse number 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. We are going to speak about the power of God's presence. The power of God's presence in our lives. Now, Uma Ibanda, Liga Mungulu, Lizo Pila, Ibido, and Victorious. From generation to generation, we must get a mind to focus on those things that promote the manifest presence of God in our lives. We must know the keys on how to, 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 to release, how to activate the power of God, the presence of God in our lives. Now, it is everything. I tell you the truth. It is your advantage that I go away. Because if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. Because this, this presence of God or the presence of God comes in our lives to figure out where And He becomes our helper even during the times of needs. During the challenging times, Umoyo becomes our helper. He becomes our strength. He becomes our advocate, our intercessor. Because sometimes we even fail to pray. But praise God, Uti. Unkulukulu kazaka si shiye si sotoa si desperate. He presents kamo ya oyinwe ne yeze isi kozaba nula higa kipai peniti. It is uh, to our advantage that Jesus goes away because unless he go away, the, the, the helper, the Holy Spirit will not come. Now. We need to understand the advantage, the blessing, the benefit of having the Holy Spirit in our lives. For an example, Uma Uchesu Efiga Ekapena Woman. I'm going to read this scripture, Mark chapter 2, verse number 1 up to verse number 2. The Bible says, and again he entered Capernaum after some days, and it was here that he was in the house. And as his reality, what we are walking in a Capernaum, every person to be as a teen, best in the where's what are the Ubuti who sent him? It was here that he 
was in the house, Governor Magaba, if presence at Jesus could be felt. And the boy will eat the chest. Now, on my Africa, we let you a good city or the area of the capital home. The Bible says, Uma the Kubega, a little immediately many gathered together so that there was no longer a room to receive them, not even near the door. And he preached the way to them. Now, when Jesus entered into an ordinary house, when he entered into an ordinary house, suddenly the Bible says the supernatural element changes the atmosphere. Go over corner, the presence of God in our lives changes the atmosphere. Over in your family, you must understand what the presence will change the atmosphere even in your work environment. Once you arrive in a place because you carry the presence of God with you, will, you will change the atmosphere. Actually, you become a more by the altar. Now we call the corner where now we call the manza. Come to the corner. Even the spirit of COVID-19 has got no power to bind you. Am I asking you? If you feel so, they carry the presence of God with their lives. Glory to Jesus. When Jesus entered into an ordinary room, suddenly there was a supernatural element that was able to change the atmosphere. As we carry the presence of God with our lives, we change the atmosphere. Wherever we are, the atmosphere must change because Jesus said, I tell you this, the truth that it is your advantage that I must go because if I don't go, the helper, the advocate, the intercessor, the strengthener, the Holy Spirit will not come, the comforter will not come. Praise God that we are born again at this time. Because we have become the mobile powerhouse. See if we are man, we have to believe that we are man. We have We become conscious of God's presence in our lives. I'm going to mention some few benefits and blessings. Of the praise of the Lord in our lives. Number one, the presence of the Lord is our defense. The Bible says, for, for, for I say the Lord will be a wall of fire around you. I will be a wall of fire around you and be a glory in your midst. Now, in presence of Jesus, in presence of God in our lives, it becomes our defense. It fights for us. It protects us. It gives a tight security. I will be a wall of fire around you and a glory in your midst. Number two, the presence of the Lord brings rest. It brings rest. We can't be frustrated. We can't live a stressful life if we carry the presence of the Lord. It brings rest. The Bible says in the book of Exodus chapter 33, verse number 14, My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. We find rest in His presence. Glory to God. Number three, the presence of the Lord melts mountains. The presence of the Lord melts mountains. The book of Isaiah 64 verse 1 to 3 Kuna that the mountains might shake at your presence. we presence the mountains of sicknesses they melt at God 
all of the presence. We must become conscious of His presence. We must be preoccupied by His presence in our lives. Because His presence meant mountains. Number four, the presence of the Lord brings refreshing. It brings refreshing. There is a spiritual renewal. As in Tola, in the name of God, in what he the book of Acts, chapter 3, verse number 19, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. In his presence, there is a refreshing. There is a spiritual renewal. The Bible says, those that wait upon the Lord, they will renew their strength and they will mount up like eagles. Because as we wait in prayer, in His presence, our strength is getting renewed. And the more we come and the Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Number five. The presence of the Lord causes our enemies to temper. The presence of the Lord causes our enemies to tremble. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, chapter 9, verse number 3, when my enemies turn back, they shall fall and perish at your presence. When my enemies turn back to me, they will fall at your presence. And the we come and Because the presence of the Lord causes our, our enemies to tremble. They cannot stand for us as we carry the presence of the Lord. Number six, God's presence provides comfort in times of trouble and of anxiety. The last one. We must become carriers of God's presence wherever we go. And when we come and the church, we must become carriers. And we must know the keys on how to activate the power, on how to release the power. And when we become and the church, as a church, one of the keys that release the power, especially in our gathering, it is a genuine worship. As we worship God, genuinely, the power will be released. As we worship God in spirit and in, 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 in truth, there is power that is going to be released in our gathering. And that power, it will cause our enemies to travel. Glory to Jesus. Now, the presence of the Lord becomes a weapon against our enemies. May the presence of the Lord go with you. May the presence of the Lord become your defense today. May the presence of the Lord bring this refreshing in your life. I want to pray with you. It might happen, maybe, as you are listening to this video, you are not born again. You need Jesus. I want, I want to pray with you today. In Jesus' mighty name. Come and listen, I'm to this again. But you need the power. Let me pray. Father, we pray in Jesus' mighty name. I release the power right now. Get down by the chest of Christ and the man. Let them receive it as I pray in Jesus' mighty name of Nazareth. Amen. God bless you.